Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the 18th, and today was a beautiful day outside, got kind of hot, but overall, um, beautiful day, rain in the morning on me quite a bit, but I got up way early than I normally get up, I got up about an hour after I normally go to sleep, um, I got a couple hours of sleep in there, well my eyes were shut, I didn't know what happened on Netflix for those two hours, so I'm assuming that was sleep, I was just Y'all excited about the trip today, um, packed up everything last night, had already to go, loaded the car this morning, hit the road, um, extra early because I, I got around good. I always, when I have a like real super early morning trip, I leave myself an extra half an hour or 45 minutes just in case because some mornings I don't move as well as others and I just kind of wanted that little extra time. Plus, I was going to try and stop by and see a friend of mine on their way to work. And they end up running late. They missed their alarm and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I didn't get a chance to stop and see them at all. And that part kind of sucked because I was out of here way early at that point. So headed up to go meet um, my dog sitter to drop Bruce off at a pe at the people's house. They haven't even like boarded at like a vet clinic or some like stable type thing where he stuffs in a pen all day. These people are willing to watch him at their house like their own dog with their own dogs. So... I was kind of excited about that, so I drive up there. It's about two and a half hours up there, and it was one of those things where my buddy and his dad were going to pick me up on their way to Colorado, actually Wyoming, and then Colorado we were going, and I thought, hey, this all works out good. I was going to try and drop my off yesterday, but then I had no way to get my car up there and yada yada junk, so I said to hell with it. Um, got up there. I got there probably about 35 minutes early. Um, texted him, said, hey, I'm here early. Um, you know, if you're, uh, if you're not ready, cool. I'll see you at 7.30. If you are cool, then we can go ahead and get it done now kind of thing and stuff. I finally got a text back from, I don't know, about halfway between the time when I texted him and when the time was up. They said, yeah, come on over. At that point, I already drove, kind of looked around a little bit of town they're in to kind of see if there's any businesses like that I want to like stop and look at once it opens because at 7.30 in the morning, nothing's open except for the gas station. So went ahead and met the people. Um, she came out, met Bruce outside in the driveway and stuff, which was awesome. They got along great, no problem at all. I think I've seen her. She works at a um, pet store up there around Des Moines area, and I think she's met him before, but I don't recognize her at all. So it's one of those things that they may have pa met in passing, I think, but nothing major. Went ahead, they got along great, no problem. Took him inside, and she'd put her dogs out back. So kind of let Bruce get the feel of the house a little bit and stuff. She was really cool with it. Uh, they got hardwood floors throughout, well, laminate flooring throughout most of their house. You get that clank, 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 clank of the nails. And it just cracks me up. And they got rugs. And he was kind of running around, just kind of stealing some of their toys and whatnot. He was doing pretty good. So I introduced the one dog, their Husky. And the Husky has a lot, a lot of energy. And they were kind of getting into it, playing and rough and stuff. And I think we should have, would have been better off if we would have introduced Bruce to him out in the backyard. We would have had more room to really beat the crap out of each other and have at it. And it would have been, I think, a better situation. Because in the house, they were kind of, I was afraid they are going to break stuff kind of thing. And it all went good. They went fine. So she put that dog out, brought in their um, mountain, um, cur I don't know, um, some kind of mountain dog, whatever. It looks like a like a small um, St. Bernard. It's actually a really cute dog. Super fuzzy, super soft, great little dog. They got along great. She's super submissive. So she kept just like rolling over and submitting to him. And that pisses Bruce off so bad because he wants somebody to fight with him. He wants an honorier dog than a submissive dog. Submissive dogs are boring. So they played off and on stuff. They played a little tug of war in that. Everything seemed to be going pretty good. The people seemed nice. Her husband showed back up. Nice guy. I talked to him on the phone a few times. Real nice couple. Um, everything seemed perfectly fine. That kind of deal. So found out that um, my trip was canceled. My buddy and his dad canceled the trip on me. I guess they're going to Wyoming, but I'm not. I'm not sure what's going on there in the whole thing. I've been trying to get answers. Can't get any answers from either one. I'm like, oh, well, the hell with it. So I just gave up. So I went ahead and kind of used today as like a testing deal to see how well Bruce did there to see whether I'd want to let him stay there at a later time. So I went ahead and just kind of treated it that way. They um, took off. They end up having to go to work, which I think they had a kid there or something. I think there was somebody else there at the house, but... You know, I went ahead and ran around Des Moines. Um, it was so damn early. I had I was just so tired. Ran in the hole first part of the morning. I thought about hitting the zoo. So I haven't hit the zoo for a long time. But I didn't because it was raining. I was trying to do a handful of things. I was going to shop for like a little RV shop and that kind of thing. That didn't work out because it's raining. You're walking around outside all the time. A whole bunch of stuff. Finally, the sun came out and then it got real hot. Um, I was going to run, but I knew I was picking him back up later that night. So I'll wait to run with him. Plus, at that point, it was a super hot time of the day. And I was just going to cook myself today. I thought there was no reason for that. So I thought I'd wait, pick him up, 
go for a run afterwards. I just went around. It was kind of cool to be able like just to go to like Northern Tools or different cold places. I rarely ever go anymore because it takes it takes a while to get through them because I don't really I don't go there enough. So I don't know exactly how to get the stuff I need. So I kind of wandered around different places. He wasn't out in the car, so I had no hurry in the different buildings. That was kind of cool. Not a real big deal, but then I was it worked out though. So I ran down to the Capital City Pub, had myself some hot dogs, onion rings, that kind of thing. Um, basically just tried to find somebody to hang out with up to that day. Um, nothing happened all day today. I just felt like nobody I knew up there was, you know, had free time in that. So I was like, okay, cool. So I kind of bummed around town all day. It's amazing how boring it is when you have no plan and you're there by yourself without the dog. Even. So I couldn't hit the dog park, couldn't go for a run with the dog, that kind of stuff. It really was a lot different without him. Finally, I um, got a call from them saying they were getting off work shortly and he'd be home, you know, a little bit. So I said, okay, that's cool. I was already back up in the town they're at, which is up north of Des Moines. So I went ahead and hit um, I was at one of the stores there and stuff. I finished up. There's a sportsman's warehouse up there. Finished up in there, headed over, got my dog. We talked a little bit. So I think went fine, went great, blah, blah, whatever. So we headed back home, and he was, you could tell, he was antsy. Him and that mountain dog were there fighting and wrestling. He said their dogs were outside most of the day, and Bruce was inside most of the day. But um, they were fighting wrestling and stuff, doing a little tug of war and this and that stuff, which is funny because she's really submissive. So I'd take the toy from him, I'd hand it to her, she'd go to run off them, he'd go and steal it from her, and they'd tug a little bit and back and forth. And they had a good time. Um, I'm happy with it. I don't know how the overnight thing would go, but hopefully if it goes half as good as this, I'll keep, I'll be happy with it. Also on top of that, I'm going to like the idea of some days up there in Des Moines, whether it be like I want to go to the zoo or I want to do something like that, I don't want to leave my vehicle running all day long. And if I can't find anybody around here, which I seem like I cannot find anybody around here who's willing to, you know, help me out and watch my dog for me, I'll just take him up there, drop him off as if it's like a doggy daycare, which they said they do, you know, just day stays also, which it's a hour long drive up there and back kind of stuff from where the zoo would be, but it's still worth it not have to have him stuck here at home all damn day long. So that's kind of hope. I'm really hopeful about that. Um, that's a I'm excited about that part at least. So. Oh, well, um, the big thing is um, I basically spent all the money to have him wash. I almost left him there for the week and then took off and did my own little thing for a week. See what it was like to be without him for a week. But then I thought, no, there's really no reason to be without him for a week. There's really nothing. He's, he is a pain in my ass, absolute pain in my ass. But he makes up for it in the good parts he has. So it's definitely not worth it at all. So I'm going to try and find somebody through the same website down by Kansas City or my cousin lives. Um, that if I go down there, her... Youngest daughter's a little scared of the dog, which she gets over it pretty, especially on there, you know, overnight kind of stuff. Next morning, she's super cool with it, but that first night, she's a little bit bugged out by it. I think my next marathon might happen down there, and I might just go find myself, because there's actually a um, dog sitter on that website that seemed like decent people from their description, their photos, their house, all that kind of stuff, like within, I don't know, like 10 minutes of where they live. So it's like right there in that same little suburb of Kansas City. Which would be super awesome because I could drop him off, you know, go down, hang out with the dog there at the house for all stuff with the kids. Go drop him off after a few hours of hanging around. Then I would have the rest of the evening. I get up but early in the morning, you know, when before it got hot. Take off and there's a running trail. Like literally on the other side of my cousin's yard, I could hit that trail. Take off running. I don't know how far it goes. So I need to find that out before I make, I don't want to find it's a three mile, you know, round trip or something. I'm running multiple laps there, but find a place to go run my marathon and then get back, get cleaned up and go pick my dog up. So it'd only be the one overnight stay, but I would get to kill a couple, you know, birds with one stone. One, I wouldn't have the dog there overnight, which would be cool. The kids could, you know, come up morning stuff, not worry about the dog, you know, bugging them and stuff. And then on top of that, I'd have the ability to run marathon by myself. So really kind of just, um, basically like hurt and disgusted the fact that the whole trip got canceled. Oh, I guess they're tripping Hensel. They took off somewhere, but my buddy hasn't told me what's going on. hasn't told me where they're going, that kind of stuff. But I was canceled from the trip. So that right there was kind of odd. Out of the money for the dog thing. Um, getting up way too early this morning. I was super tired. Driving home, it was, like I said, it was pretty late when I got the dog. Then I had two and a half hour plus drive home. And driving back, I was just, I was falling asleep. I was so tired. I literally pulled over and went for a run. I ended up running like six and a half miles like that. Woke myself up good. The sun was setting, it was dark by the time I got back to the car, drove back in the rest of the way. But because I'd just been running my heart, my metabolism, all that stuff was up and moving, so I was good. So, got home, got myself a shower. Um, so tired, so lazy right now, I didn't even bother putting a shirt on. So, I'm going to crash for the night and hopefully not wake up till morning. So, talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.